Welcome to Osprey's TV and welcome to Australia. Uh, you're just coming to the end of your first week as an Osprey. Um, before we talk about your role, can you just perhaps tell us a little bit about your background so supporters know where, where you've come from and, and what you're all about? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I came to the UK back in 92 uh, to play rugby league for Huddersfield. And I spent uh, three clubs up there that really I played for was Huddersfield, Castleford and Wakefield. I uh, had 14 years in the north of England. Um, in 2006, I joined Bath as their skills and defence coach. Um, that, that, that role sort of developed into being a backs defence coach and then first team coach. Um, and then I've, for the last three seasons, so I was there for seven seasons, and in the last three seasons, I've been at WASP Rugby as, as defence coach. And here you are now, Ashland Darcy, defence coach at the Ospreys. What, what brings you to South Wales? Well, to be honest, Steve Tandy was the reason why I've decided to join. I had, a, I, had I still had a um, a year remaining on my contract at WAS, and uh, I spoke with Steve. Um, the passion that he had for the club, the passion that he had for the players. Um, I wanted to. I had an opportunity to to stay where I was, but I felt that this was too too much of an opportunity and an exciting venture. Um, not to miss out on and um, some people might look at it slightly different from the outside but basically uh, the way he described the club the way he described the, the players was just uh, he was full of passion and it was a, an opportunity that I wanted to be part of and help develop and we are now at the end of week one for you in the role and obviously a lot of the players aren't with us yet the international players are still yeah. away but First impressions of the group that you've got here and first impressions of the environment? Yeah, first impressions, uh, really positive. Um, my head's spinning. I arrived back from, from a, an Australian holiday on the Sunday, so I arrived on my first day on the Monday. So the jet lag's still still there a little bit. But um, I've thrown a lot at the guys in the first four days and uh, they've come up with some great answers. Um, I had a pretty clear brief from Steve about... about you know about what we, we need to do defensively I, I told him my sort of vision of, of how I like to set up a defense and to be fair to the guys it's probably taken them out of their comfort zone in the th first three to four days but as exactly as I expected in the way Steve described it you know the players have just bought into it from from the off uh, they've been challenged it taken out of their comfort zone and I'm throwing things at them that they, they probably haven't experienced before but uh, from my first session on, on the Monday to even now where we are on the Thursday, there's been, a, um, there's been an awareness about what we want to try and achieve as a group defensively. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, there's not one regret about the decision I made to come, to come and join. Coming into the environment, how much do you know about the Ospreys? How much do you know about the squad outside of the top level international players? Um, did you do much work before you came in? What What's that like? No, not too much to be honest. Um, obviously, like Ospreys, uh, when I was in Bath in the years 2006 to 2012, uh, you know they had the the gladicos of their players. You know they were they were a region that was right at the top of the the Champions Cup. Um, obviously, every 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 team at some stage has a has a performance cycle, and and this young group of players right at the moment are going to go through hopefully on an upward curve in this performance cycle. So. Um, I didn't know too much about the players, you know, obviously I read a little bit the international players, you know, you pretty much know the, the bread and butter stuff of that, but to to see the sort of young players that maybe a little bit of the unknowns and see them out in the training field and their willingness to learn, to adapt, to, to try and become a better player is a real motivation for me to, to assist them in that, in that direction. And how do you see your role proving influential over the coming months and seasons and how what impact do you see that you can make to the Ospreys on the field, off the field, and yeah. allowing us to achieve our goals. Well, on on the field, off the field, uh, in terms of our everyday training days, to to first of all set up a defence that uh, the players understand that they can they can be in it together and and make us a really difficult team to break down. I think that's the first thing uh, we need to do. Um, over time, the development of those decision making within our structures will will come to the fore. I want the players who are here if they're if they're big hitters, I want them to stay big hitters. If they're good over the ball, I want them to good over the ball. We're not going to be a one-size-fits-all uh, sort of team. 
but we need to be a team that within our structure absolutely understand without any doubt what we're about. Um, so I'll bring that organisation to our defence, um, bring that intensity to our try line, but also hopefully it forms a part of an opportunity that our defence should be the first source of turnover ball that we can attack from. So, you know, our job is to be hard to break, but also get the ball back as quickly as possible so we can play the sort of game we want to play. Nothing in, in rugby should be separated in terms of it, we're all going to be about our defence or we're all going to be about our attack. It's how it's all joined up and how it all links together. So within the coaching team and what I've had so far this week with Griff and Gibbo and Steve is a real connect, a connection and connectivity between the coaches about every part of the game fits together and how we're going to complement each other and um, with the young players and you know hopefully be able to pass on a lot of my experience that I've had over the years in terms of not only in defence but also in their skills and decision making and hopefully just make us a better unit so we can get to where we need to be. And clearly it's early days at the start you're obviously going to be focused on senior group and making sure that the match day 15-23 the wider squad are prepared for Pro 12 Challenge Cup action yeah. do you see in the longer term that the work filters down to B group and C group and the youngsters coming through who learn the new Oscars way in terms of defensive structures without doubt without doubt um, it's going to be about first and foremost getting this squad not the 15 not the 23 but the squad we've got 36 38 players all them up to speed on what we're about and our principles of, of our defensive unit. But more importantly, for, for, for this club to be sustainable in terms of always pitching in the top four, always pitching in the top six, challenging for silverware, we're going to have to have that, that 16s, those 18s, all on the same page in terms of when they step up into the senior stuff that we're not having to, to then do the coaching of principles. So um, I was speaking with, um, with uh, Duncan, earlier and and we were talking about the youth sort of the youth sort of setup um there's definitely going to be once i've once i've got uh settled into the role an opportunity to hopefully work with those 16s and 18s and do specialized clinics in terms of this is what an ospreys this is how we defend this is what it's all about finally rugby league coaches rugby league defense coaches and particularly southern hemisphere in the union game to have a reputation as hard-nosed and difficult to please and you don't want to get the wrong side of. It all smiles and happiness now. Would you class yourself as one of those as well? Uh, I'd, I'd like to think that uh, on the training field and even off the field, I'm a pretty approachable sort of coach. Uh, yeah, I was a rugby league player, but I'm a rugby coach. Um, I coach principles of the game. I, I coach a lot of decision-making within the game and I've now got about 10 or 11 years experience of coaching within the game. In terms of rugby league players having that, I suppose you can call it the Sean Edwards type um, mentality, uh, I'd like to think I'm competitive. Well, I am competitive and I want to win. And ultimately our job's not about how many points we can see, about putting Ws in the box and we us winning rugby games. So um, as long as every player that I coach has that competitive edge, and that desire to win and be the best they can be, not on the Sunday, but on the training day. They need to have that application. I'll be a happy man if they if they want to take a few shortcuts, well then I'll come down on them like anyone else would. So we're going to enjoy what we do, but we're going to work hard and, and try and apply to be the best player we can be. Yeah.